prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina, and they take on Costa Rica. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. And so the match is underway. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Angel Di Maria starts with Lionel Messi. Oh, he could be in here, Derek. Oh, wonderful goalkeeping. Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. The corner courtesy of Lionel Messi. And a struggle to get it away properly. Chance for Di Maria. And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Sabre. Well, let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. Underway, 1 0 it is. Did well to win the ball back. Gorgeous ball from Dybala. And keeping it out. Taking the corner, Di Maria. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area. And what about the finish? It's such control and technique. That could have gone anywhere, but not with his skill. It's a great goal. to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick well they've decided to make a change and he takes it on and you've got to say meat and drink to those in the wall well that's how to keep the opposition at bay Yeltsin Tejeda. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. There to take it away. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Terrific block. Gerson Torres and there to intervene 
Messi. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. He's got to have a go here. Good stop from the keeper. Can he deliver it with accuracy? It might be. A oh, tremendous block. And saved by the keeper. Celso Borges. And in the end, he's run out of space. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Yeltsin Tejeda. Could be a chance to break here. Defenders need to cover. There's so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Dybala. A really sumptuous ball. Is it going to be? And a goal! What a magnificent display! It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then the perfect finish from Lautaro. He really does hit this with power. That's an excellent goal. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Number 22. Gerson Torres. Oh, he's given us away. Martinez. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, here we can see it again, and it starts with the ball over the top perfectly weighted and then it's a clinical finish from Messi the outcome was never in doubt was it you just knew he would score from there well this is threatening to get out of hand just look at the scoreline Lionel Messi Johan Venegas, Yeltsin Tejeda. Promising sequence. Messi. Take it away. Keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. Able to get a body in the way. Campbell. Gerson Torres. Oh, good looking run. Still possibilities. Oh, chance taken! opportunism for you 
but a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, let's take another look at this. And from the attacking point of view, everything's right. The shot across the goalkeeper, players coming in for the rebound, and there's not much the goalkeeper could do about that. He made a good effort on the first one, couldn't react to the second. Not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Romero. It's with Dybala. Martinez. Dybala. It's with Paredes. Paredes. Now with Dybala. Cross blocked. And totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. But nothing comes of it. And a throw-in for Argentina. And the whistle is sounded for... Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Oh, the threat is there. Di Maria waiting. Well, thumped clear. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Has eyes for goal! Well, the free kick taken, but saved easily by the keeper. And a long way out here. Well, it turns out to be fairly routine for the keeper in the end. Yeltsin Tejeda. Venegas. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Martinez and they'll get ready for the throw in really closing him down here Yeltsin Tejeda Juan Pablo Vargas well he's lost it and making headway Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. Well, nothing untoward happened. Well, how did that not go in? It was a great effort, you have to say. Well, they're on the ball, and they've just got to forget about that moment of misfortune. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And Lionel Messi does the rest. He strikes it so clearly. He hits it with power and accuracy. There's no stopping that one. Goal. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. Number 10, Lionel Messi. And now passing it through and running in behind. of goals no let up
Yeltsin to Heda. Read it superbly to take back possession. Di Maria. Dybala. Can he finish? Well, four marks for trying, but he couldn't quite get it on the target. Yeltsin Tejeda. It's a weighted pass. They've regained possession. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, he had it on target, but it was never going to trouble the keeper. The high press was very much on. Dybala. Rodrigo de Paul. Well, sloppy in possession. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Yeltsin Tejeda. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Paredes. Lionel Messi. He's got to have a go here. And the keeper was up to the task. Who can he pick out? And the problem not completely solved. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. And he saw the situation developing. An incisive pass. And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. Now sending it in. The clearance wasn't decisive. And through for the goal kick. He hit it with power. Venegas. Went in strongly, decisively. Martinez on to Messi Martinez a mischievous effort and he'll take efforts like that all day long five minutes left Messi opportunity here well it really wasn't a great effort was it Failure to keep the ball by Argentina. Can he finish? Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Both substitutes who've been getting ready will come on at the same time. The corner courtesy of Lionel Messi. And still dangerous. High echelon goalkeeping there. Can someone get on the end of this? And the danger's still on. Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. Oh. 
And cleared away. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.